Alright guys, in today's video we are going to be looking at a ThinkPad T410 that has a supervisor password, and we're going to show how to remove it. You may be asking, what is a supervisor password? So as many of you probably know, the majority of ThinkPads are purchased either by large companies, businesses, schools, or government organizations. As such, these systems need a little bit more security than your average computer. And this is where things like BIOS passwords, fingerprint readers, and that kind of stuff come in really handy. ThinkPads traditionally have two types of startup passwords, a BIOS password and a supervisor password. A BIOS password is pretty easy to get rid of. If you unplug the system, remove the battery, take out the CMOS battery, and just let the system drain any residual charge for a few minutes, you can remove the startup password. But, since these things need some extra security, supervisor passwords are a thing. These cannot be removed even by clearing the CMOS. So getting rid of these supervisor passwords is a little bit more of a hands-on process. But they're not too difficult to get rid of as long as you're competent with the screwdriver. The process that I'm going to be talking about in this video works on pretty much any ThinkPad up until and including the Ivorybridge series of ThinkPads, such as the T430, X230, and W530. The Haswell series of ThinkPads, like the T440 and other similar models, as well as newer ThinkPads, store the passwords a little differently, so this process won't work on those machines. Now, some of you may be worried that I could be helping people hack into stolen systems or something like that, but considering that the newest of these systems that you can do this on are already 7 or 8 years old, I'm not terribly worried about this process being used for malicious purposes. And besides, most of these systems that pop up with supervisor passwords on eBay and such, they've had the hard drives removed, so any potentially sensitive information that wouldn't want to be accessed has already been physically removed from the system. If this were a brand new system, yeah, I would have suspicions about it maybe being stolen or something like that. But like this T410, it's nine years old, so I'm not terribly worried about hacking into somebody's information. That being said, I do not condone or support people using this process to hack into somebody's computer for malicious purposes. I just want to keep an otherwise perfectly good system from going to the trash heap, because a lot of people end up throwing these things away because they don't know how to get rid of the password. So without further ado, let's get started. So like I said, this process is going to be showing the T410, but as long as you know where the EEPROM is on a particular motherboard and you know which pins you need to access, you can do this on any older ThinkPad. For the T410, we're kind of lucky. The EEPROM chip is located on the bottom of the motherboard. However, the two pins that we need to access are conveniently located on the top side of the motherboard, so we don't have to completely take the system apart just to access it. In fact, the only two parts we need to take out are the keyboard and palm rest. So, there's two screws to remove the keyboard, six large screws and three smaller screws on the bottom, and four more small screws on the top side to remove the palm rest, and then everything just sort of comes out with a little bit of patience. You can remove the palm rest, but keep the keyboard in place and plug it back in. Look on the motherboard around the place that the touchpad normally would be. Just to the right of this magnesium alloy piece, look for a marking that says A4. Immediately below that, there are two surface mount components. Just to the left of that, you can see these two pins. Those are the pins we need to access. Have a small pair of tweezers or some other metal piece you can use to short these pins handy and turn the system on. And when the ThinkPad logo appears, short out the pins. Hit F1 to get into the BIOS. If you see some error messages coming up about the serial number or something else like that, then you're doing it right. While keeping the pins shorted out, go to Security and then Passwords. Go down to Supervisor Password and hit Enter. If it prompts you for the original password, then you did something wrong, or you weren't shorting out the pins well enough. The good thing about this process is that you can pretty much try again as much as you like. You're not going to mess anything up. So take your time and be patient. However, if you hit enter and it only asks you to enter a new password, congratulations, you're golden. Hit enter twice to just enter no password, then hit F10 to save your settings and restart the system. 
If you did everything correctly, when you start the system and try to enter the BIOS, it won't prompt you for a supervisor password. So for many ThinkPads, this will be a very easy fix to take an otherwise useless system and make it fully functional again. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it, and thanks for watching.